Everyone remembers their first 3D movie. Maybe it was a drive-in. Most likely it was some cheesy horror flick where you had to wear these to see the big monster jump out at you. Sure, it was fun, but you wouldn't want to do it every time you saw a movie. What James Cameron is doing is something completely different. His 3D experience is so good, it's not like watching a movie, it's like watching the world go by. In the real world, we see in 3D because our two eyes give us a slightly different view of the same object. In this case, a pen. The information from each eye is sent to the brain where it is combined. The slight difference between the images gives the depth of 3D. It's been about five years now uh, that uh, he explained to me that he wanted to build a holy grail type camera that can shoot 3D and 2D. Vince Pace is the director of photography. His approach has been to design a dual camera system that mimics human sight as closely as possible. And I think that's what separates our approach from standard um, or old time film methods is we are really creating a human machine. The old 3D filmmakers had two cameras set widely apart. Vince brought the lenses together so their centers were about the same distance apart as our eyes. But to do that, he had to separate the lenses from their high-definition video recorder backs. Impossible to do with film cameras. So essentially, these are the eyes and the brain somewhere out the back. <laughs> yes, exactly. Next step in the 3D riddle is to make the cameras act like eyes, able to focus on different subjects at different distances. When we look around the world, our eyes are constantly adjusting for different focus points. For example, when I look at the tree in the distance, my pupils are straight ahead. But if I want to focus on the pen in the foreground, my pupils automatically come closer together. When I move towards camera, you can see the angle of the lens is changing, just as our eyes do as we go from looking at something in the distance to something up close. This means when the images from the two cameras are overlaid to create 3D, our eyes don't need to compensate for any errors in convergence. And that leaves your brain free to enjoy the movie. You should be embracing the storyline and the, and the experience. And, and if you're trying to correct with your brain my mistakes, mm -hmm. then it's an unco uncomfortable viewing experience. For you. So that's the theory. But what does new generation 3D really look like? I'm at James Cameron's private screening room and I'm about to watch the new 3D for the very first time. I'm very excited because this is meant to be phenomenal. The only downside is we're not able to show you what it's really like. That's because you're watching me on 2D technology. It's sort of like trying to explain colour picture on a black and white TV. But I'm going to give it a go anyway because for all you moviegoers out there, this is going to change the way you experience the cinema. Now you still have to wear glasses, but not daggy red and green numbers. These have polarised filters, which allow the eyes to process the 3D images. This is amazing. It's like the ugliest fish in the world. It feels like I'm in there. Three, two, one. New digital cinemas are now opening up worldwide in readiness for the new wave of 3D movies. James Cameron's first 3D feature film is due to be released mid-2007. The subject of the movie is still under wraps, but bet your life, it will take cinema beyond tomorrow. This could be like a little glimpse back in time. Yeah, a couple billion years ago.